one? All right. So one, I got these cool new red sneakers. They're super bright for me, uh, but I'm enjoying them. So get some videos with my cool new shoes. I'm excited. Uh, but that's not what I'm here to talk about today. So what I wanted to talk about today is uh, if you're getting some shin or foot pain as you're rowing. Uh, so that can happen for a few reasons, and there's some things that you can do off of the machine um, to kind of try and help with that as well. Uh, but those are mostly things to kind of help with those symptoms, not the actual reason you might be getting that, that discomfort. So focusing on what you're doing on the rowing machine is actually more likely to stop that discomfort from happening. Uh, so one of the things you can do, or one of the reasons that it might be happening, is when you're in, when you're strapped into your rower, uh, if you are doing either, when you get to this finished position, your toes and your, your feet are coming far up, you basically lose the connection to the machine, and it makes it so that you're relying on that foot strap to really help keep you there, but it overuses all of these muscles, which can lead to some discomfort in those areas. The other thing that can cause this is if you are literally using your toes and your feet against that strap to pull yourself forward as you go forward to the catch uh, in that recovery phase. Instead of eccentrically and using the muscles in your legs and that, that slide to bring yourself forward, some people use their, their toes to pull themselves forward. So if you're doing that, that might cause some of this. Uh, so what I actually recommend is for either your warm up or the first part of whatever it is you're doing for your rowing, whether it's in a workout um, at your house or at the gym, or it's like part of row house or uh, city row or OTF or whatever it is, um, then just start uh, doing a few strokes or uh, do the beginning part uh, or your first uh, part of rowing. Do it without the straps. So just put your feet onto the spot but don't strap yourself in. Uh, now, if you're gonna do that, I recommend just being nice and gentle on the first pull because if you don't, you might go wee and go flying backwards. Uh, and we don't want that because I have had seen people, uh, their slide goes, their seat goes whoop, and then they go straight down on the floor. Uh, so if you're gonna do it, I recommend being nice and gentle. Uh, but you can see I can row perfectly fine without having my straps done and my feet stay connected to that foot plate the entire time that I'm rowing. They do, they're on that foot plate. Uh, so that's how I recommend kind of practicing. It forces you to keep the connection to the machine and through your feet as well to the machine uh, and not overuse those muscles so that you're not creating discomfort there. So that's my recommendation if you tend to get uh, pain in the shin or in your foot while you're rowing, really working on that form and trying, I call it, we call it strapless rowing, uh, trying that should help with some of that. If you've got questions, as always, feel free to ask, uh, but I hope that that helps some of you out. Thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, if you did, go ahead and that, hit that subscribe button. I put new things out weekly so you can get new information. Uh, you can also join the Keep Rowing Longer Facebook group where you can ask your questions and get your an questions answered quickly. Uh, so if you're interested in that, I'd love to see you there. There's a link in that description uh, below, and I hope to see you there and chat soon.